My YouTube feed is filled with these I bought used flash drives on eBay videos, and after watching a couple of them out of curiosity, I found myself questioning the legitimacy of them. You see, it's well known that if you delete something in your hard drive, it's not really gone, at least not until it's overwritten with other data. That's why when using special software, you can actually recover deleted files after they've been quote unquote permanently deleted. But that's for hard drives. Flash drives are entirely different as they use flash storage, not magnetic disks, to store your data. When data is deleted from a flash storage device like a solid state drive, underlying technology like wear leveling and garbage collection often complicate the data recovery process. These mechanisms ensure even wear across the storage cells and periodically clear out deleted data to maintain performance and longevity of the drive. SSDs also use trim commands, which erase deleted data blocks, making them more challenging to recover. Unlike hard drives, where data remains intact until overwritten, flash storage may quickly and effectively erase deleted data. This means that the success rate of recovering deleted files is much lower when compared to traditional hard drives. But how much lower? Is it possible that these used flash drives on eBay actually still contain their previous owner's data? In today's video, we're going to find out, so let's get started. The software that I see used in these videos is called Distro. So I got that installed on a Windows virtual machine and to test it out, I have a brand new, never used before flash drive. As you can see, there are no files on the drive, so I'm gonna go ahead and load it up with a few different types of files that one may want to recover, like photos, videos, PDFs, and text documents. Delete them and try recovering them in Distro. As you can see, Distro actually does successfully recover these files. I'm going to try again, but this time I'm going to go a step further and format the drive as opposed to just simply deleting the files from it. And still, the files are able to be recovered. When I formatted last time, I went with the default quick format option, which doesn't overwrite any data. I'm going to uncheck that now and see if there are any differences in the data recovery. And yes, this time Distro wasn't able to recover anything. But even so, there's a good chance most people don't do a secure erase when they sell their old flash media. Most people probably either just delete their files thinking they're gone or go with the default option when formatting. At this point, I feel like I have pretty good evidence supporting these used USB videos, but really there's only one thing left to do. I'm going to buy some of these used flash drives and SD cards myself and get to the bottom of this once and for all. I bought a few different types of flash storage devices from eBay, and now I'm going to see if Distro will be able to recover any of the data from them. The first is a compact flash disk, a format that was widely used in the late 90s and early 2000s. Given its age, I'm curious to see if there's any recoverable data from this ancient artifact. Looks like there's already some files on this. Let's see what we got here. Okay, it looks pretty corrupted. All right, so we have some files, but they all seem all corrupted. But let's see if we can find anything else on disk drill and see if we can recover some of those older files. Okay, so apparently disk drill was able to recover 1,700 pictures and 23 video files, which I find pretty hard to believe considering this is only a one gig card. But uh, let's see what we got here. Yeah, sure enough. We got some pictures on here. All right, let's see. 2009, this image was taken, and I'm still able to recover it today in 2024 after it's been deleted. Man, you know, these old cameras look like they took pretty good pictures. Not going to lie. I have some people I'll probably blur that stuff out. There's a dog. Cute. Yeah, I know these people didn't want their, uh, necessarily want their pictures ending up on the internet. So out of their res respect for them, I'll just blur out most of the stuff, but you got, you know, baby pictures and family photos and stuff like that. Let's check out the videos and see if it can recover some of those. All right. We've got a squirrel. Wow. Look at that. Even recovered a video. 2010. That's insane. Wow. So there you have it. I got another one to try here. So let's check it out. All right. So this time I'm going to take a look at a normal SD card here. It's a little bit more modern piece of technology. Some cameras and stuff like that. They'll use it. Okay. 
so let's see if there's anything in here. Okay. So we got like a folder structure here, but I'm not seeing anything really on this drive. Uh, so let's check it out. This one took a bit longer to scan just because it's a, it was a bigger drive. Um, but it looks like it recovered some files here. So let's check them out. Okay. We got hockey pictures. We got football pictures. We got cat pictures playing video games. Uh, we got a, <laughs> a bowl of the good stuff. Oh, another dog here. A little like Chihuahua or something. A beautiful shot of an Arnold Palmer half and half tea. And man, again, these old cameras, these pictures look incredible, honestly. All right, what else we have here? A lot of football pictures, a lot of hockey pictures, a couple of pictures of it looks like from a party or something. <laughs> Some more of these pictures. Another cute dog. Cat. That's about it. So clearly we we're able to recover files from used media, but how? Well, it turns out that SD cards and USB drives actually don't typically include the management features I mentioned earlier, which are common in solid state drives that you would install on a computer. These simpler flash media devices are designed for basic storage tasks like storing photos, videos, or transferring files between devices rather than handling intensive read and write operations that SSDs are built for. The lack of these features means that old deleted data may remain in memory cells longer, which makes it easier for data recovery and forensic tools like Distril to retrieve the deleted files. Because data remnants linger in these cells, it's often possible to recover files that users believe they have permanently erased. Okay, but how do we ensure our data isn't recoverable from our old SD cards or flash drives? Even though I wasn't able to recover files during the secure format where I unchecked the quick format box in Windows, I'm still not convinced more advanced tools won't be able to recover that data. The only foolproof way to ensure complete data destruction is to physically destroy the storage device. Given the relatively low cost of these devices, it's not worth the risk of selling or passing on old ones that may contain your sensitive information. Properly destroying the drives through shredding, crushing, or incinerating ensures that the data is irretrievably lost 